Okay, so today's day three of my rain barrel and underground uh, downspout pipe project. Um, if you haven't seen the first two episodes, you should probably see those first. I kind of explain what we're doing here. And then we install this rain barrel, install this line, and uh, reinstall the gutter here as well. Now today I was planning on renting the trencher, but unfortunately I can't do that today now. So I'm going to have to do that tomorrow. So instead what I'm going to do is finish getting the rain barrel connected up here. And then I'm going to make sure this path for the trencher is correct. I'm going to lay out the pipe to make sure my angles are right. That way I know exactly where I need to trench. And just pretty much get everything ready for tomorrow. So it's going to be a pretty short day. So I think I'm going to start by digging around here to, um, to kind of figure out where the main pipe's going to come down here for the downspout and go underneath ground. Now there might be a sewer line right around here somewhere. So I'm going to carefully dig and um, just make sure there's no line or anything in the way. That way tomorrow I can just start trenching right down the line uh, without having to worry about anything. This was most definitely mine. This should be about deep enough because I don't want to go too deep because i got to be able to have some slope on the pipe. So, so far though I haven't had anything. It's just that big rock in the way. Alright, so I've gone ahead and marked my line where I plan on trenching. As you can see it comes right down here. And then we'll connect underground. So right here is where the underground pipe terminates for the rest of the gutters. And then that comes straight out, like so, straight this way, and it just goes straight up. Now, there's also that black correlated pipe over there that comes straight down here, and then turns, and then go right, goes right in that main line. This is the main six inch line. That's a four inch correlated. So now I'm gonna have this three inch line here connect into the four inch correlated. I could connect it to the main line, but there's a lot of Ys and stuff over here. So it'd be a little bit more difficult to connect to. And the correlated is in good shape, at least five years ago it was. And then the hardest thing was making sure the slope is good. I wanted to make sure I had enough slope to go down. They recommend about a quarter inch of slope per foot. I did do some measuring before to try to make sure it was right. I was originally planning on going up to here, but then I realized that's probably not of slope. So I'm coming down the hill a little bit more because you can see the property is on a hill. Okay, so I'm trying to figure out how to get the downspout adapter connected to the rain barrel here. And so I basically need to go from here over and into here. On the last video I talked about how I was planning on just using regular hose to connect it and then caulking it in. But the hose kept on crimping because of the tight radius here. So I think what I'm going to do instead is just use regular half inch PVC pipe. So my plan is just to use this hose adapter piece with this other half inch male end and then connect it into here. Then do a 90 across and then put a valve in there where I can turn it on and off in the winter. And then add this coupling here that uh, can connect, that can disconnect by just unscrewing it. That way if we need to remove the rain barrel it's easy to disconnect. And then just go into 90 and straight in with this male threaded section here, drilling hole, threading it in, and then caulking around it. Okay. The rain barrel is connected to the downspout attachment now. Got it going through here. I can turn this valve on and off in the winter to disconnect it. Got this piece here. If I need to disconnect this from this, that way I can move the barrel out. And yeah, that's it. The rain barrel's all done. Looks good. Now, to be honest, I probably didn't need to glue all these joints. Probably could have just push fit them in. Since there's no high pressure, it's just rain water coming down. But I'd rather glue everything, that way it stays secure and in case there's movement and stuff like that, it'll all stay connected. 
some of the pink yellow chipped here and there when putting it in. I think I might touch it up at some point uh, with the same color, but for now I think it looks good and everything should work. Uh, I haven't turned the water on yet because the downspout's not connected yet, but yeah, it all looks good. So I think that's it for today. Tomorrow I'll go ahead and rent the trencher and get this trench out and then we'll start getting the line uh, put in and connected. See you in the next one.